you look a uh, first day of school in some respects, Alex said the same thing today. What about you? Yeah, no, I did. Um, packed up my school bag this morning. Uh, Ellie said the same thing, give me a kiss, kiss goodbye. And um, yeah, same similar feelings to walking in, you know, three years ago at the Giants. It's just, um, you know, a fresh start. Um, yeah, really exciting. What was it like being out there today, Luke? Sure, the captains there. I mean, those sorts of impressions that you've made all been early days for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's really good to see a few of the old boys back already. Um, I've been lucky enough to run with a few of the young boys um, over the last couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, just getting familiarised with them and, and the facilities as well. It's been, yeah, a really good couple of weeks. A perfect first day for you. Yeah. Know, back in the town. Yeah, nice warm one. Um, we've been pretty lucky while we've been back. Um, yeah, it's been beautiful, but um, yeah, really excited to be back into training and um, yeah, looking forward to it. What are you hoping to get out of pre season? Um, I think it's just a bit of consistency. Um, yeah, I just really want to put my head down and earn the respect to the boys and uh, hopefully I can do that early. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to just um, yeah getting some good relationships with the young boys, and then um, you know obviously the older boys will come back after Christmas, so uh, that'll be good to meet them and um, yeah go from there. How's your health? How's your body? Yeah, really good. Yeah, I've um, yeah pretty much recovered from you know all that I had last year with my ankle and everything. So um, yeah, hopefully hit the ground running and um, yeah go really well. What's it like having Luke Shuri at that first session? Yeah, it's awesome. I had a chat with him afterwards and kind of just asked him, you know, why he was why he was here. And um, yeah, it's kind of obvious that he really wants to get the most out of this year and um, you know meet the young boys as well. So um, yeah, to see the captain down there, it's pretty pretty inspiring. And um, yeah, I just want to put my best foot forward and um, you know show him that I really want to place in this team as well. Is he someone you hope to learn off? You spoke earlier about um, wanting to play a little bit in the midfield. Is that someone you try and sort of? Get around as much as possible. Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know, I think I've been brought in as a forward, but uh, you know, I really want to get into the midfield as well. And uh, you know, he's a really you know big contested beast, and uh, I can learn a lot of him. Sure. Yeah. How do you um, reflect now on the three years at uh, US? Have you had a chance to really think about it, and um, what do you want to look forward to next? Um, yeah, I, I probably haven't had a long time to think about. It. I suppose that two weeks in quarantine. Um, yeah, it's a bit like overwhelming at times. You look at you know photos of yourself in the jersey and stuff like that. But um, you know, I love my time there, and uh, you know, I'm not ashamed to say that that I you know we really love Sydney. And um, but yeah, the opportunity to come back here, I was you know more than grateful for. And um, you know, this is where I wanted to be. And uh, yeah, coming in this morning, I knew I was at the right place. And uh, yeah, I just want to put my head down, work hard, and uh, you know, they've all been really good blokes so far. So that's uh, exciting. What did Dean Cox think about you becoming an Eagle? Obviously, another down here lad himself. Yeah, yeah. So we're, um, you know, good family friends with Coxie and uh, his family as well. So he was stoked about it. Um, yeah, gave me a bit of advice. But um, yeah, obviously he's, you know, gone to another club as, as well now, and, and he just, you know, couldn't speak highly enough of the Eagles. So yeah, I was really excited coming in, and um, yeah, hopefully I can have some sort of career he did as well here. Speaking of the quarantine, yeah, little, the COVID breach, which you, did your heart drop and go, oh, what have I done? Yeah, yeah, no, it was um, yeah, not the greatest start. I, I rang the club and uh, was thinking, what have I done here? I might get delisted before <laughs> I started. But um, no, it was an honest little mistake. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad no one's, you know, no one got affected by it or anything like that. But um, yeah, I'm glad it's all all done with now and, um, you know, we can move on from it. You say about coming back to, to Perth, obviously, it's a great move for you. But I guess with that comes being in a club like this, in a footy town like this, as opposed maybe to, to Sydney where you can get sneak under the radar a bit more? Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's obviously like an obvious one. Um, you know, in Sydney you don't get noticed at all and, um, you know, it is a good thing. Like, you know, you can go around and do whatever you want, but, um, you know, I knew coming back here that, you know, the spotlight's on you a bit more and, um, you know, which I don't mind. It's, um, you know, as long as you're doing the right things and um, not having issues with treadmills and stuff like that, you should be fine. So, um, no, nah, it should be right. I did, yeah, I smashed it. I tried to hide it when they came and grabbed it, but um, no, they took it off us. How's your brother feel about you sharing a home ground with him now? Yeah, no, he's good. He's um, he's he's always up in Danfield here again now, but he'll, he'll be coming back. Um, but yeah, he said um, yeah, he's going to try and switch to the uh, Eagles too, so he can play a game with me. But I told him I won't be down there. So, <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, um, he's going really well. He's just living around the corner as well. So uh, it'll be good to see him and uh, the other family as well. So you've met 
the whole list now go gather or not? Have you met all the boys? No, nah, just the younger boys, yeah. So um, the first of four year boys that we're in today and um, yeah, I've been training with a few of them over the last couple of weeks. But um, yeah, most of the older boys I don't think come back till after Chrissy, but I've uh, still met a few in that have been around the club. Have you crossed paths with many before in terms of at waffle level or anything like that? Um, I suppose like Jakey Waterman here was at um, Claremont when I was there, so he got drafted of the year, my first year there. Um, and then like Jack O'Nelson just through uh, mates and yeah, a few others just through other mates. So yeah, that's about it. Probably helps settle the, the nerves when you're coming in for day one. Yeah, yeah, it's good to see a few familiar faces when you walk in. But um, yeah, like I said, I've uh, you know the boys have been really welcoming and um, you know I feel like I'm, I'm good mates with a few of them already. So. That's been... What was the trade period like for yourself? You're obviously the first deal done, so probably uh, <laughs> yeah. at least you didn't have to wait like most of the other guys involved. Yeah, no, exactly. It was, um, yeah, it all pre happened pretty quick uh, for me. I suppose, uh, yeah, like you said, the first trade off the block, and um, you know we didn't have to wait around like other boys. But uh, yeah, as soon as you know it got called out, and um, you know I knew I was coming home, that you know I was really excited, and the family was over the moon. So. You do more interviews in that week than you did at three years as a giant. So yeah. like you were, you're on media straight that week. Yeah, no, I was. Um, yeah, for someone that was going for a pick 56, it was. Um, you know, <laughs> felt like number one draft pick, but um, <laughs> I was a bit of carry on there. But no, it was. Um, it was good. Um, you know, to chat to everyone, and uh, you know, everyone was really excited as I was, and um, yeah, it's just good to be back. Mm -hmm.